education and in today's class we are going to discuss about reading skills we all know reading is very important and as a student uh, of professional studies you all know how important it is to read on regular basis many a times we read it consciously or we start reading unconsciously say for example while browsing or uh, while uh, reading some important message there is a link or there is a link that popped up and then you immediately open up that link and you start reading it though there was no interest though there was no desire you did not plan it that you are going to read the article or you are going to read the news or you are going to read the information but you go on reading it because reading is very important reading also help to enhance your knowledge and skills when we talk about reading why people focus on reading right from your childhood your parents must have emphasized on reading your teachers might have asked you to read loudly so that you can improve your pronunciation you can understand the importance of the subject and you can also in, get uh, the knowledge related to the subject that you are trying to read now let us understand the importance of reading skills and why it has to be encouraged why it has to be imbibed and inculcated why you cannot say no to reading so when we talk about reading you can see in the slide that is presented over here it says this if you really read or if you are a good reader you're going to improve your pronunciation the first and the most important thing is if you are a regular reader it will help you to understand the pronunciation of the different words what is the way you are going to pronounce each and every word with clarity so that the person who ever is going to listen to you will get the right knowledge and right information if you are a reader and if you are not able to pronounce the words in the right way you will see that the person who ever is going to listen to you may understand or may interpret the information in a wrong way so therefore it is very important to read the information and while reading it is again important to emphasize on right pronunciation in case if your pronunciation is not good you can use the app that is dictionary.com or there are different apps through which you can improve your pronunciation pronunciation plays very important role you cannot neglect this you cannot say that being an indian i am born in india my mother tongue is so and so therefore uh, even if i say something wrong or even if my pronunciation is bad so what it is going to uh, reflect on it only reflects that you are not diligent it also reflects that you are not Uh, paying attention to the words you are not even understanding the importance of reading or using the right pronunciation say for example if you are saying something in your uh, mother tongue or any of the regional languages or even in hindi and if the pronunciation is wrong of course the first thing that you do is you will start laughing at the person because you feel that this is a common thing that a person while saying something must not commit error while speaking or while pronouncing the same thing will be implied and applied when you are using the other language other than the vernacular or hindi language or the regional languages that are spoken in india so make sure that you improve your pronunciation and also pronounce the words with the right pronunciation or correct pronunciation the next is it improves your vocabulary it enhances your vocabulary it helps you to develop your vocabulary if you are a good reader every now and then you will come across new words you will be more anxious to know about the word meaning you will be trying to record the word in your memory box so that you can have good number of vocabularies in your memory bar and then if you improve your reading skills it is also going to help you to speed up to bring in fluency most of the time students do complain and they uh, they, they generally ask me how can i improve my fluency here is the tip if you really want to improve the fluency the flow of the thought that should be there and that should help you to present your ideas and thoughts in a logical order and if you really want to work out on articulation please remember reading will help you to bridge the gap reading is going to help you to connect the missing dots it is also going to help you to frame the sentences with right words so therefore if you are a regular reader it is going to definitely improve the speed with which you are supposed to speak or you are supposed to read you are supposed to convey your thoughts and ideas and finally it will help you to understand if you are a regular reader you can understand not many things if you do not read say for example you can do the small activity at your home pick up any newspaper or paper or pick up any article pick up any journal pick up anything from one of the textbooks and start reading it 
we will see that initially when you cannot concentrate or after a long gap if you start reading for the first time when you are reading you can hardly recall 5 to 10 words you will not even able to understand what exactly you are reading because of uh, the lack of concentration so therefore you can understand the importance of reading not only the understanding level of that particular topic is going to improve but also you can understand and correlate and connect with the other information because your memory is going to become a supercomputer and you are going to use all these information that you are reading probably any time of the day in your future course of life so therefore boys and girls make sure that every day you read at least for 20 minutes and practice this without practice nothing can be done and if you really practice this is going to help you a lot this is going to help you to develop your confidence level this will also help to improve your content it will also help in to bridge or to connect with the audience in the right way relationship can be improvised if you really know how to if, if develop your reading so when we talk about reading is there any technique that is applied of course there are four reading techniques generally when you are reading something here and there without having complete concentration for example there is a newspaper in front of you you hold the newspaper and you start flipping the pages just by reading the headline or by reading certain words here and there of the different articles what are you doing are you reading in totality or entirety no you are reading it just to know or maybe to pass your time or maybe to understand what is it that is written or try to find those things which are of your interest area isn't it such kind of reading is called as skimming in skimming you just read the words here and there you are not trying to understand exactly what is it that is mentioned in the article but of course after reading certain words after reading certain line you will create or you will generate that interest to read the complete article and then you are going to enter into the next process that is called as scanning that is from the very beginning of the article till the end till the time you don't finish off the complete reading of that article you are going to read word by word line after line each and everything that is mentioned in that particular article such kind of reading is called as scanning say for example once again you are uh, holding a magazine and uh, you you saw a beautiful picture and there is a beautiful catch line uh, i it's very eye catching and even at the same time when i talk about the slogan that is there or the tag line that is used it's it's one of your best one or you can say that it has attracted your uh, or it has grabbed your attention so as it attracted your attention what are you going to do you're going to read it in totality or in entirety such kind of reading is called as scanning but please remember skimming and scanning are done when you are not completely concentrating on the information it is generally done when you are trying to grab the like information in order to pass your time or in order to have pleasure or reading for fun but when we talk about the other two techniques these are generally used by the students the first one is intensive where in you read it again and again the given material you read you scan the information you read it time and again so that you can capture the information even in your memory box for a longer period of time say for example your exams are approaching and in order to prepare very well for the exam or in order to do or fare well in your exams what are you going to do you're going to read the given uh, material or you're going to go through the study notes or you are going to go through the notes that you have prepared on your own and you're going to read it time and again why are you reading it time and again even though you understood what is there so that you can store it in your memory box such kind of reading is called as intensive reading then comes the next that is extensive reading what do we understand by the term extensive reading extensive readings are those kind of reading where you are reading for fun you are reading for pleasure and you are reading hours and hours continuously without giving much break or gap such kind of reading is called as extensive generally when you read novel when you uh, when you are reading comic when you are finishing of uh, reading the different articles of the magazine or you want to uh, understand what is the knowledge that is uh, shared in one of the text book or the reference book and you give one reading so such kind of reading is called as extensive reading please remember that extensive and intensive reading will help you to store the information in your memory box for a longer period of time whereas skimming and scanning of course the, uh, based on your uh, ability of storing the information the information can get stored but 
the time that you're going to spend the, uh, the the amount or the quantum of information that you're going to read under the skimming and scanning will be very less so for example when we talk about the doctors they scan through or they read through the reports that are presented by the doc diagnostic center but if you're carrying your previous uh, uh, like a prescription this, uh, the doctor will uh, will definitely flip the pages or may turn the pages but he will not show that interest because he understands that this time when you are coming uh, probably you have some other problem probably you are uh, facing some other symptoms and so therefore there has to be some other medication process so keep this in your mind skimming scanning intensive and extensive are the four techniques of reading which which are applied and which are generally used by all of us in our day-to-day -day life then comes the benefits of reading. We all know that, yes, reading will definitely give us the different benefits. When we talk about reading, certainly it is going to help you a lot. It is going to fetch you uh, the ability of understanding the information. And so when we talk about reading or the benefits of reading, here are certain benefits of reading. The first is your mental uh, simulation is going to function well. That means you can think very well you can understand the concepts very well you can logically connect with the audience very well because of regular reading your thoughts are vibrant you are logically understanding each and every information a good reader will understand the things very easily a poor reader or a bad reader cannot understand so therefore try to develop your ability of reading try to develop the ability of understanding and try to create or generate that vibration in your thought process so that you can articulate the information in a correct manner then comes the next stress reduction if you are a regular reader it is going to help you in reducing the stress it also enhances your knowledge on on regular basis when you read different articles different uh, information either from the textbook or from reference book or from journals newspaper magazines or some or the other book you will see that even these days web pages we uh, we often read through ebooks right so when you are reading books, it is going to help you to improve and enhance your knowledge skill. It also helps you to focus and concentrate in a better way that you can see, which is already mentioned on this slide, that it will help you to develop your power of concentration and it will also help you to improve the focus. Vocabulary, of course, your vocabulary is going to improve. You will learn new vocabularies. You will also uh, store the more vocabulary for your future use. It helps you to improve your memory part. Most of the time when students complain that I tend to forget the things, start doing this uh, right now, like every day, give a reading, take a, uh, take a practice of reading every day for a minimum 20 minutes. So what are you going to do if you are reading every day 20 minutes and that too loudly? You are not only helping your eyes to focus on what you are reading, your tongue is helping you to speed up. That is, it is going to help you to develop your uh, fluency. But at the same time, when your ears are listening to you, it will help to store the information in the memory box. And as you are reading it time and again, the memory will always help you to recall the words, to recall the content, to recall the information at the spur or, or at the spur of the time. So therefore, it's very important to improve your memory. You should develop the habit of reading on a regular basis. It helps in stronger analytical thinking. If you are a good reader, it will also help you to improve your analytical thinking part. That is, how well can you understand the figures? How well can you understand the statistics? How well can you present the information that is graphically presented? Or if there are infographics, how can, how can you explain those infographics to the others? That is, again, possible. It helps in improving your writing skills too because of the concentration, because of the vocabulary, because of the memory part. Certainly, it is going to help or improve your writing skills. Last uh, two are very, very important. Please remember that even reading is done for tranquility. That is peace of mind. How many of you have seen your grandparents or even your father and mother reading the uh, books related to mythology or self-help books? So when you read self-help books or when you are reading certain uh, stories which are related to mythology or uh, maybe related to certain fictions, it gives peace, it gives tranquility. And finally, it is free.
free entertainment when you read you don't require any other body along with you you can be all alone and your book as always said book is the best friend so if you are with your best friend you are definitely going to improve your abilities but at the same time you are using and investing your time in the right way so with these benefits please remember reading is an art and if you really want to become a good reader start from skimming and scanning and slowly enter into extensive and then intensive reading technique please remember with the help of reading it is going to help you to improve your pronunciation it will help you to improve your vocabulary it is also going to help you to work out on your fluency and finally will help you to understand the concepts in the better way so that's all in today's class in this class as discussed we discussed about the reading techniques we talked about uh, we 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 discussed about uh, the different benefits that one is going to derive if you are a regular reader we'll see you in the other class on some other topic we are going to have a detailed explanation till then take care of yourself